This video is just a clip that I saved of a game of Gambit that I played today and I just kind of, it's a raw clip of just like, I'm just doing my inventory right now, kind of by talking to my friends and uh, looking at my stuff, so. But I wanted to make sure I got a video of uh, the new DLC out pretty much right as, right as it, at the bat so I could talk about it when it's hot and fresh um, and show off for Gambit because I haven't done that yet. Um, so, loading into Gambit. Uh, so far, well, yeah, as you can see, I'm level 48 out of 50 levels. After this game, I played like one or two more games and I, I hit 50, so I'm max uh, character level, not close to max power level. So the, the grind is still out there, but uh, my hunter is now level 50, which is the current max. And uh, the real grind begins, but I have not finished the campaign. I finished, well, I'm going to keep this video free of spoilers, so I'm not really going to talk about the, where I'm at the campaign or what's happened up until now. Um, but so far, uh, my overall impressions of this new DLC are that it's good. It's not just a DLC, but as you can see here, the, the Triumphs tab, the Collections tab, there's so much stuff that is now easily accessible see what you have, see what you don't have. You can, if you've ever, once you've gotten the shader once, it's unlocked and you can go and get as many of it as you want for a fee, depending on what kind of shader it is. It's either Glimmer, Shards, or Bright Dust. So I got um, these new, like, purple and black shaders from this DLC, so I just went and got a bunch of them for 250 Glimmer, which is super cheap for shaders.
see how that guy over there just killed me with the, I think it was a sleeper simulant. So, uh, he went through their portal into our arena and killed us, or, you know, attacked us. And the reason why you want to do that is because if you die with moats, you drop them, you lose them. Like, they don't go on the ground, like, they're gone. So, the strategy is, like, see how our team right there has 15. Like if one of them invaded us and killed him, uh, we would lose those 15 because we haven't banked them yet. So it's kind of this back and forth battle, trying to bank moats, but also not holding them for too long, trying to save up to get the big blockers because if you hold on to them too long, you might die like that and you lose them. And then um, you also want to kind of keep the other team blocked so they can't um, keep depositing their moats because they might get killed while they're trying to kill the blocker. So there's a lot of elements of just trying to keep the other team on their toes while also keeping your team organized and, you know, keep your moats going. But the end goal objective is once you hit 75 for your team total, you can see at the top we're at 41 against 51. Once you hit 75, you spawn a primeval, which is the big, um, or a primeval, I don't know, um, which is a big boss, and when you kill that big boss, you win the game for that round, it's best of three, so you'll see that happen in a bit here, but you um, are basically just trying to spawn that big guy and kill him before your other team does, but when you die, it heals that boss, so another reason why you'd want to Fire again. 
terms are so jumbled up, like you don't really get to work together very often. So this mode's great because you do have time to talk, you do have time to think, but every move you make is very important. So like for instance, you wouldn't want everybody to go and bake two or three modes at a time, you know? You'd want to have like, a strategy would be like, instead of picking up modes, make, make just designate one guy to pick a bunch of modes. And so he can bank 10 or 15 at a time instead of everyone just having five or, you know, three or four. So that's one strategy there. You got to kill that guy. He had 10, so now he can't bank those. This guy's got nine. All right, I got to set back. You get 30 seconds in there. So a different strategy. So we're at 26. They have zero. so far. I probably played maybe 10 games of this so far in total. And I love it. Like this is what this is what this game needed as far as adding just one more bit of variety of what you can do. Like activities. Like PvP is fun, doing strikes is fun, missions are fun. But there this kind of bridges the gap and adds a new kind of like casual yet
I've seen so far, I've been very happy with having random rolls on weapons. It's going to take some getting used to all over again, because right now, up until this DLC, I've pretty much just been dismantling everything I get at all times, because I already have everything I want, and there's no variety, so I've just been dismantling everything I get all the time. But now I've got to look at, like, okay, light levels, and perks, and new guns, so it's, it's actually fun. Forsaken. 